on here too, so if Phil ever wants to sign in, all I see is put in his password. Nice. Because remember we did it when we were over in a uh, Mongolian room? Okay. Yeah, we did that live. Getting ready for a live stream on yeah. Tim's channel. Cool. Check it out, <laughs> Truck House Live. <laughs> Alrighty, well, we're all packed up at this spot. Awesome day yesterday doing a live stream and also hiking way down this cliff and watching these guys doing some fly fishing. That was awesome. We're just going to mob on out, make sure that uh, the old truck house can get out safely. Are you sewing up your crotch hole? Sewing up the crotch hole, man. Nice, man. Got her. Don't need a full blowout, you know. <laughs> Jack of all trades. Yeah. I like it. Coda likes the house. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. See how much you like when we get up that hill in a second. Yeah, right? <laughs> I think you'll walk it. Yeah, I'm hoping so. Yeah. I'm yeah. Pretty good at walking. <laughs> Brian packing up camp. And we'll mob on out. I broke my crotch. Now we're just uh, permanent two-wheel drive, I guess. Bottom of them's totaled. That's how you, when you wear Crocs every day, they only last a year or two. That thing looks so badass. <laughs> drama not even any drama just that rock and that's it yeah <laughs> dude that that was awesome <laughs> oh, of course dude <laughs> stop here in Silverton and uh, maybe even get some groceries and things. He got so many like, I saw so many people, like three or four people take pictures just in that parking lot on the way out. Yeah, man, people freak out. They love that thing. Crazy switchbackery. <laughs> Look at all that. just around this bend and I know that because I've been here quite a bit this past week I can't leave yeah. I see everybody coming into town yeah you got some wine yeah because I can't really do beer cheers yeah, man nice cheers Timmy hey, hey, look there. cheers <laughs> Woo. sweet we made it to your is it Yuri or Alray Yuri Yuri it's Yure and it, and it's also our Yure. It's our Yure. Oh, camp at night these guys were like Timmy was like Phil you got a light bar or something and uh, I was like I turned these on he was like oh yeah you lead <laughs> so yeah I got I got some light we can use to find a camp spot don't you know all right 
late night. We found camp. Timmy's over there. Brian and I are tucked in the trees a little more. All right, guys. Well, I hope you guys are enjoying our travels in Colorado with Timmy and Brian from Off Grid Backcountry Adventures. But I wanted to talk to you a little bit about something I've been using full time on the road for the past two, three years really, and that is Olight flashlights. I love them so much because they are so bright, they're so easy to charge with the magnetic charge port. I wanted to show you a little bit of a snippet from uh, our Idaho adventures. Yeah, Idaho adventures in the snow and how we're using the Olights right now. My favorite is the Warrior X, this guy, the spot and flood combo, and the Seeker 2, um, the flood. The Warrior X is a little brighter, shoots a little farther it seems, it's really cool. Getting dark, you guys. I've been using this daily. Um, one of these O-lights, we just put it in the pocket of the James Baroud, and uh, that's our light in the tent. Actually, it's funny I say two years, it's been more like four or five. I've had this SR1 baton from Olight, still the smallest one uh, for power, how power. Oh wow, one lane bridge. Neat. Beautiful. But yeah, this little guy packs a punch and uh, I really like this. I've had this for about four or five years with the same battery. And back to our regularly scheduled programming. Morning, everybody. My hair's crazy. I'm over here making some coffee. Tim's over there playing the banjo. <laughs> oh, man, I just started recording. Oh, sorry. Oh, you want to hear the banjo? Oh, man, I guess. That sounds awesome. So last night we Look to find a camp spot outside of Ure, and um, the trail was a little bit too rough for the truck house. Timmy was worried about flopping the house into a tree. So at that point, it's not worth it for a camp spot for one night. So we kept on going, and uh, we went to a spot that I had stayed at with my buddies in the vans, and that didn't really work out. So we kept on going, and we ended up going through Ridgeway, and um, we, got on this we got on this trail and just kept going it just kept going and there was barely any camp spots and it was about 8 39 p.m and we're pulling into people's camps with our lights on just like oh sorry like reversing out of there just you know just trying to find a camp spot and um that's obviously not the ideal scenario but it's the reality of it sometimes and you know it's just funny in the moment being like oh man i wish we had a spot and, and looking back and being like, if that's the worst thing that, <laughs> that we have to worry about for the day, then uh, I think we're doing pretty good. So waking up, we ended up finding an amazing spot in some big trees with, you know, no traffic around really. And um, it was just an awesome, the perfect spot and great spot to wake up and make coffee this morning. And uh, so this morning, you know, I was really fortunate for this spot. So it's just funny how those things work. And um, yesterday wasn't my finest day on the road as far as my mentality. I don't know why. I was just feeling a little off. Um, and I think it's important on those days to recognize that and not put too much thought into it. Because just like when you're, you know, any nine to five job you've got, when you're a kid and you're, you're going to school and you just don't feel like going to school that day. I mean, humans just, we have our off days and I think that's okay. So if you're having an off day today, or if you've had one the past few weeks, go easy on yourself. Just let yourself relax a little bit. And, um, mental health is so important these days and seeing ridges like this might help your mental health. Um, I don't know. Helps me. 
But anyways, I just uh, appreciate you guys watching and I really want to try to share more about um, the highs and the lows and what's going on. Not that yesterday was a low at all because a lot of amazing, awesome stuff happened. And I just feel very fortunate to be following these awesome dudes, Timmy and, and uh, Brian and these amazing vehicles and the coolest part of the world that I've been uh, all year, really. Our little creek here. The real thing though, and the question is, are you down to mob?